Thank you everyone for attending the West Allis Senior Center's 40th anniversary celebration. I am so happy to have so many smiling faces in this building today. And so uh, uh, in a moment here, we're going to have Mayor Dan Devine up here to speak. And we are just so happy to have you all here today. So without further ado, Mayor Dan Devine. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Today's a very special day, 40 years here at the Senior Center. And I want to just take a quick minute to acknowledge a few people that are here. Um, in the back, Jane and Denise. They have been running this long, long time. When I started my terms as mayor, and they have done so much in the past, so I just want to recognize them. Thank you for being here today. Also, the Commission on Aging behind Jane and Denise. And they're sprinkled about here. I want to thank them for the work that they do. So I want to talk briefly, and, and they asked me to speak three to four minutes, and that's, that's going to be long for me, as I've told a lot of you. I'm not a very long speaker, but I've mentioned the staff. I want to thank Shannon and Sharon also when I mentioned the current staff. And the support for this facility from the city um, I want to recognize Ashley and Nick and the health department staff on the side too for their assistance in being here today. But aside from all the, the paid staff, I want to recognize the volunteers. And a lot of you know that we have had several events here recognizing the thousands of hours of volunteer time that have been put in here by our community and our neighbors. And I just picked up, I'm sure a lot of you are aware of this, but just because this is being recorded, when you, when you look at what's offered here, and this is just the month of October, it's stained glass, crocheting, sheep's head, movies, table games, card making, chair yoga. There's just so much offered. And when you look at the city of West Dallas, the people that are residents here have worked all their lives going to school, working, raising families to earn the golden years. And when we can provide high quality services to everybody at that stage of life, we try to be a community for everybody and we try to be an inclusive community. And we talk about inclusion that doesn't just mean your nationality or your religion, but it's your age. And we have to be an inclusive community, not only for all the 20 somethings that live in the apartments up the street, but also the people that have retired that are looking for things to do, that are looking for activities, trips, classes, things like that. So it's really nice to have this as part of the community. And it's really just a place of inclusion. And anybody can come here. It's an affordable, very diverse place. And I'm very happy to have this as part of the city. So with that being said, I just want to congratulate the staff, the members, the volunteers, the partners that are here with us today and thank them, and let's go for another 40, and congratulations. First of all, I'd like to thank the mayor for taking the time to speak here today. We're so th thankful to have you here. As he spoke about, there are so many people that have come together to make this day a success. I'd also like to thank the West Dallas Commission on Aging, uh, Cairo One, and all of our other su uh, supporting organizations that have made this event happen. Our city, our community, and our members are vital supports that I would like to celebrate here today. Um, we also have a bunch of former staff here today. We uh, have Denise, we have Jane, we also have Diana May who is here, our original um, Senior Center Director. Um, so if you run into them, make sure to thank them for their years of service to the Center and to the, all the seniors of West Dallas. Over the past 40 years, this building has seen tens of thousands of people walk through its doors and out of its doors as well. Uh, our members have given out to the community in the forms of knit hats and blankets from, uh, to those in need through our Gifts of Warmth program, cards and calls that have uh, gone out to people dealing with grief and illness, and the helping hands of people who have shoveled sidewalks and ripped raked leaves throughout the seasonal changes, um, all as programs that the Senior Center has offered at one point. Um, it has seen countless renovations as well. This building was originally built in the early 1950s as a um, YMCA, 
and it was completely redone in the early 80s, and it now has an elevator, it has two functional kitchens, and it has a veranda full of windows on the upper floor that is now our fitness center. And there is so much love that has been poured into this building and this community. Um, when COVID came and the senior center had to close its doors, that flow of caring didn't stop. Um, our amazing volunteers and staff worked tirelessly to keep our community fed, connected, and involved. Uh, I am so grateful that we are open to the public once again. Because, the, uh, because this is much more than a building, this is a collective kindness, joy, and kinship of everyone that walks through these doors. We are the West Dallas Senior Center. We are here to be well, we are here to have fun, and we are here to be home. Thank you all.